on my face. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. Today, Simply Face Logical. <laughs> and today we're gonna do the same old song and dance and ask important life questions, such as, is this thing real? Hello? 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 I am a living meme. Now we all know that every makeup company and their sister company is coming out with holographic makeup. We've seen Kat Von D, Cover FX, Milk Makeup, Sephora brand, Kylie Jenner, and now even Dior Makeup thinks they're holosexual. <laughs> Except none of this is real hollow. It's iridescent or duochrome at best. Because it doesn't have all the and shifting rainbows that it needs to have to be real hollow. <sighs> we are all getting tired of explaining ourselves. I am tired of myself. <laughs> but maybe there's a reason why we haven't seen real hollow in makeup yet. Because if it were possible, wouldn't one of these major cosmetics companies already have figured it out and cashed in on that by now? <sighs> it's the simple questions in life. I need answers for. <laughs> Anyways, what we're here to do today is to test out something new. Something that may potentially be actual holographic makeup. These are Liquid Hollow Unicorn Shadows that just came out on the market. This is the box and this is the component. You see Simply Face Logical it's learning her lingo. They are made by Super Chic Lacquer, which yes, is an indie nail polish company whom I know very well because I have many of their holographic polishes behind me. I am also an affiliate with Super Chic Lacquer, which means that when you guys click my links or use my code there, I get a small commission from that sale if you choose to purchase. But just to be clear, I am not sponsored to make this video. No one is making me make this video other than myself, which means I can say whatever the f I want. <laughs> Simply Face Logical takes her reviews very seriously. These unicorn shadows are the first cosmetics product that Super Chic Lacquer has ever put out, to my knowledge. And they launched with 17 different shades of this liquid hollow stuff. Is it true? Is there finally real hollow makeup? In all my life, I someone like you. And I think hollow, but I find a Take a breath, let's dive right in. First of all, I can tell you that right off the bat, just by looking at them in the bottle, they are in fact real hollow, so check. Honestly, they all look sexy as f In fact, they look so hollow and so good that they look like nail polish. <laughs> One of these swatches is the Unicorn Shadows Makeup, and the other is a silver linear hollow polish. Can you tell which one is which? <laughs> On that note, let's segue into the ingredients. <laughs> Evidently, if you did not know this, I am not a professional chemist. <laughs> like most of you, just trying to figure out life using Google. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all the ingredients, but I'll just do the few that might be questioned. Get ready for Christine the unqualified science queen. <clears throat> ingredients. Witch hazel, but does it water marble? Alcohol denat, which means denatured alcohol. Can I drink it? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be serious, I promise. Let me just check my notes. Yes, I took notes, I did homework. Can be used in cosmetics as a preservative to suppress foaming of the formula and to help thin it out. There's also a bunch of other shit on here. We got some purified water. Is it Fiji? Propylene glycol, isodotecane, polyisobutene, glycerin, glycerin. Don't let the hollow go by. Glycerin. Okay, anyways. PVP, which stands for polyvinyl pyrrole. <laughs> It is a polymer, which essentially means plastic. Scientists will sound off in the comments below. And we got sugar. Is this edible? No, no, it's not edible. <laughs> and then we got aluminum powder. Okay, but I just wanna know where does the hollow come from? <laughs> Okay, but on a serious note, while aluminum powder is approved for use in face and eye cosmetics by the FDA, there is some evidence to suggest that exposure to aluminum powder may be linked to health issues. That being said, it is an ingredient used by some popular eyeshadow brands, so maybe it is more of a question of dosage, quality, or form the aluminum powder comes in that changes the risk. I don't know to what extent these were regulated in the super chic formula, and to be honest, there are mixed messages on the internet about this, which make me feel like I'm not comfortable making any concrete conclusions about the safety of this makeup. Is this safe to put on your face because it looks like nail polish? <laughs> Granted, it doesn't feel like nail polish at all. It's actually quite liquidy and watery. It doesn't smell like the way 
nail polish smells, but it definitely doesn't smell good either. It mostly just smells like alcohol. Now the box does say to keep away from mucous membranes, which includes your eyeball. But there is something else to consider if you are someone who has an allergy or sensitivity to metals in makeup, as I do. This has aluminum powder, so there is metal in it. That was easy. <laughs> but what I would recommend and what, you know, a lot of companies recommend we do, but we just never do, <laughs> is to do a swatch test or a patch test somewhere inconspicuous like your neck before you go ahead and just rub this all over your face. It might not be a bad idea to actually do that patch test. And that's what I did about a week ago. I put two of the shades on my upper neck just below my chin. I left them on for about four hours to see if I had any kind of immediate reaction. After I wiped them off, I did not see any redness or signs of irritation and 24 hours and 48 hours later same thing my skin looked normal for me personally it was more important to do a patch test first because I've had some allergy issues with metals why do you hate me metals what did I do to you I love heavy metal some of you may remember that in the summer I had some allergic reaction to fake hollow makeup what do you know? <laughs> I went to the dermatologist and we determined that I was actually allergic to a few different types of metals that are commonly used in makeup products. This is what happens when you get old. I wasn't allergic to metal like two years ago. <laughs> Aluminum is actually not one of the types of metals that I was tested as allergic to, but they're all kind of related, said my dermatologist. So I wanted to be careful. Because as much as I love hollow, I don't want to f up my face. After my research and my swatch test and knowing my skin allergens, I decided it was safe enough for me to proceed for the purposes of making this video. Hey, you done yet? I haven't started. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I had to give disclaimers and a speech. <laughs> you want me to ask the lawyers to review it or? No, it'll cost too much. <laughs> Thank you, drink slave. So first, I did a bunch of arm swatches. And you're probably wondering, how did you create such beautiful straight lines, Christine? You're not that good of an artist. <laughs> I used nail vinyls. Well, technically not nail vinyls, but they are nail vinyls for your face. There's some swatchers on Instagram who do this kind of thing, but I'm not sure where they get their stencils. But I found a bunch, and I put a link to where you can find these down below. First, I swatched six of the silver-looking shades. Three of them have an added iridescent shimmer to them, so we've got pink, blue, and kind of a yellowy color. Then we got the classic color hollow silver, that one's called Antidote. We've got the hollow flaky, that one is so beautiful. And we've got another silver one that kind of looks duller than the others. Here's an iPhone photo with flash and without flash. You only really see the color pop in the iridescent ones if you're looking at it from a certain angle, but they all definitely have hollow in them. I would have to say my favorite from this bunch is the classic silver hollow one and the hollow flaky one because I love me some chunky hollow. <laughs> then I swatched five of the colored hollows. The black hollow one is basically my soul. Also really I really like this coppery reddish one. Wow. And there's even more that I didn't swatch because being a swatcher is exhausting. Hats off to you Instagram ladies. They also all wiped off really easily. In fact, too easily because all it took was just wiping my fingers over it and it started to kind of pill up, if that makes sense. Like, like pilling, like in clothes. So that gives you an idea of wearability. You probably won't last that long. Shut up, Christine. Put this shit on your face. <laughs> Okay, yes, I'm ready. In true beauty guru style, I spent half the video talking about shit before I put that shit on my face. The instructions say shake well before and during use. Only people who like my dad will get this reference. Where should I put it first? How about a hollow highlight? I tried to DIY one myself once. It didn't really work out. It was just really oily. Oh. Oh, uh, ooh, it's cold, it's chilly. Now, one thing I did notice when I was putting this on my arms was that you can't really blend this, but let's try again on my face. Try and buff it out, just a little. It kind of just makes it look more silver and less hollow, if that makes sense. It doesn't exactly blend. And it's important to note that the current lighting setup I have, which has been calibrated for a beautiful person in training, is not ideal for showing the rainbow properties of hollow because for that, you really need all these diffused lights to be gone and you just need an iPhone flash, really. More hollow, always put more. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, um, that's interesting. I think my eye is noticing that there's alcohol on my face because this eye feels slightly irritated. Maybe it's from the fumes from being close to my eye, but not in my eye. The instructions say it may be rubbed over top gently while semi-dry to create vibrant smooth holochrome effects. A little buffing, like nail buffing, like with nail powder. 
Oh shit, I think that's actually working. Oh my god. <laughs> shit, it's actually like buffing in the nail powder. The more I do this, the more like linear hollow it looks. <gasps> wow, it's like nails. And now I want to try the hollow flaky one. I sense the alcohol. <laughs> this one, maybe you need to like dab a bit more. <gasps> wait, wait, I wonder if we can dab, dab, dab to make your face fab. <laughs> so by doing this, we get rid of some of the liquid part and we get the extra auto flaky. Yes, maximum flakify. <laughs> mm. Makeup brush doesn't really work to blend this stuff. It's weird, it's like it only responds to your finger. The hollow only reacts to the human touch. Wow, I feel like I could go to Coachella and I would probably hate it. <laughs> Which side do you guys like better? Personally, I like the chunkier hollow flaky one because it just stands out and screams at you from a distance. But I can still appreciate the linear hollow one. All right, now we have to try a color. Now I'm not gonna use these as eyeshadows because I don't wanna get too close to my eyeball, but we can try and use just a little bit as a brow bone highlight. How about that, hmm? I'm gonna take this pinky rose gold one. Gonna wipe off enough because I don't want it to drip. <laughs> and carefully put it right here. Just a little. Okay, that doesn't really look like much. <laughs> what? Let's try another one. That one has more of a hollow kick to it. Just gonna gently blend. And slowly she became the Tin Woman. Since these aren't really that ideal for blending, what we could do is some stenciling. So you could use nail vinyls, face vinyls, whatever vinyls. Where do I put him? He's big. <laughs> How about right here? Hot new trend, unicorn contour. Now we're gonna peel to reveal. <gasps> That's cool. I'm 12. <laughs> How about let's do one on our forehead. just looks like someone threw a rock at my head and it got stuck. <laughs> Let's do a sailor thing. Ahoy, Captain Simply Nellogical's channel has gone off the deep end. <laughs> okay, what else can we do to my face? This has turned into a challenge. How many shapes can I put on my face? <laughs> what if we trace the hollow? There, now it looks like I intentionally put shapes on my face. <laughs> I'm not tracing the unicorn. Okay, we're, we're done tracing. <laughs> we're not gonna put this on our lips, but I will make history today and actually put some lipstick on. I just never wear lipstick. I don't know, I just feel like it's not necessary when you have no lips. <laughs> I just thought I was exempt from having to wear lipstick. Oh, that's bright. How is that so bright on my lips, but like really dark in the tube? What games you playing, Bobby Brown? <laughs> now it's time for a mandatory narcissistic montage. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? There's hollow on my shirt. <laughs> Maybe this is the reason why we haven't seen major cosmetics companies come out with real hollow makeup. It's kind of tricky to apply, you can't really blend it, and it only looks cool in the perfect lighting, although that's something we're all used to being hollow sexuals on this channel. <laughs> this probably isn't something you could wear every day, and maybe not even really to a festival if it's just gonna wipe off. That's just water. But it would be great for an Instagram picture. <laughs> I'm gonna wash this off and let you guys know how my face handled this experience. I feel like I've been complaining for a year about how there's no real hollow makeup. <laughs> and now it's here, and now I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I can't wear this to work and be taken seriously. Would you put this hollow makeup on your face? And how would you put it on your face? Or should hollow just be reserved for nails? Do you have any conspiracy theories about hollow makeup? Comment down below and say hollow. And that was another video 
brought to you by Simply Face Logic. I know you guys have missed my makeup tutorials. It's been a few months and what has the world done without them? I don't know. <laughs> I had to put Simply Face Logical on the bench because I was dealing with the allergy trying to figure that out. But now we got it under control and as long as this didn't f up my face, I'm good. <laughs> I want to go back on my journey to be a beautiful person. <laughs> funny because a year and a half ago I broke my nail and then I couldn't really do nail art videos and then I got into whatever kind of videos including makeup and then I had an allergic reaction and I couldn't do makeup videos the universe just doesn't want me to make videos <laughs> subscribe to prove the universe wrong all right everybody thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later bye